I've had a strange life. My parents and my father especially were fighting their own demons, so I grew up in a dysfunctional, confusing, abusive home. And growing up, I always thought that once I left the house, I'd be immediately free to live a life of truth and beauty. But like my sister said to me, when you come from where we come from, you don't come out shining. So yeah, I was depressed. I was struggling for a long, long time. Lots of substance use. People think that substance use is a problem, but from the perspective of the user, it's an attempted solution that keeps you going. Honestly, I'm not completely sure what turned it around towards healing and uh, slowly becoming whole. My daughter was born and that's the biggest incentive to try to do better. I think I was lucky I met the right people. I was able to trade my bad habits for theirs. And one of those habits was to serve in leadership roles, which I've been doing for 13 years now. And that's been an integral part of my ongoing recovery. As president of Carleton, I feel a responsibility to be truthful about my own mental health journey so that the students, staff, faculty who are struggling know they're not alone. So to everyone that come from a traumatic past or are struggling currently, I want to say you're stronger than you know, you deserve help, and even with seven arrows through the heart, healing is always possible.